The excessive use of antibiotics favoring antimicrobial resistance is quite a relevant problem for public health. We present here in this video the results of a controlled study of a low-cost media campaign in our region, Emilia Romagna. The study was financed through a public grant from the Italian Drug Agency for Independent Research and showed that the campaign was uh, moderately effective in reducing antibiotic prescriptions. Information campaigns are often used to promote a more conscious use of these drugs, often showing a moderate impact on their use. The campaign was implemented within the Emilia-Romagna region in northern Italy, specifically in the provinces of Parma and Modena, being the rest of the region used as control group. We used information material directed at the general population, like brochures, posters, newspaper ads, radio spots, video spots, focused on after respiratory infections. The campaign motto was Antibiotics Solution or Problem. A disintegrating antibiotic tablet was used as campaign team. But we also tried to actively involve general practitioners and pediatricians, first in analyzing the determinants of antibiotic prescription during the doctor-patient encounter, then in designing the campaign messages, and finally in distributing the information materials. Last but not the least, newsletters on local antimicrobial resistance were specifically targeted at doctors and pharmacists who were involved in distributing the materials. We implemented the campaign from November 11 to February 12 and evaluated average prescribing data during that period plus one month. We registered a 4.3% reduction in antibiotic prescribing in the intervention versus the control area which is modest, although in the short term, but consistent with the reductions observed in several other campaigns, and potentially relevant for public health. A change was also observed in types of antibiotic prescribed, consistently with contents of the newsletters on antibiotic resistance directed at health professionals. It is noteworthy that knowledge and attitudes on antibiotic use of a sample of the general population was instead not effective. As for economic feasibility, primary analysis showed a 3.8% non-significant reduction in antibiotic expenditure, yet turning into statistically significant reductions in more power sensitivity analysis. Potential savings have been at least twice the cost of the campaign. We conclude that such a small-scale, low-cost information campaign on antibiotics may be moderately effective in reducing antibiotic prescription and is economically sustainable by local health authorities, with potential savings that may more than offset the initial investment. A common lesson with other campaigns is that large decreases in antibiotic prescription should not be expected in the short term, but this decrease may still be relevant for public health and calls for continuing efforts over time to promote a careful use of antibiotics. While this campaign was mainly targeted at lay people, population knowledge on the use of antibiotics was not effective. A general bottom line may be that the availability of information could be a positive element per se, creating a favorable climate for positive changes if put in a proper context. As for the proper context, Doctors' endorsement is important. They may be encouraged in careful prescription of antibiotics by knowing local resistance data and by knowing that a campaign is on the air.